Hey, hey, Paul Peck here again. Today I'm installing some vinyl or plastic corner bead on a window in a bathroom. Basically all you're gonna need is a tape measure, some snips, a staple gun, and some spray adhesive. The reason I'm using the plastic is because I don't want it to rust when condensation happens from the shower. So basically I just got the rough measurement, 25 and 5 eighths. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut 45 degree angles on both ends of the corner bead. I found that that's a better way to do it than having the corners turn up when you end up screwing them in. So that's why I use the staples as well. All right, that looks good on this side. Let me check the other side, perfect. All right, so uh, go ahead and measure the side. You always wanna start with the top. I got a measurement that's 24 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my tape measure, 24 and 5 eighths. Be careful not to snip your tape measure. You can use a magic marker or something to mark it on the inside of the corner bead. That way you won't mess up your tape measure. I have snipped the tape measure or two in my time. All right, so that fits good. And now what I can do is check the other side if it the same measurement. I'm not going to have to measure again. I can just use this one as a template to cut the other side. Again, I'm going to put the two 45s on each side of the corner bead. Like I said, if you don't do that, it can curl up on the corner and then it's hard to finish. So I'll go ahead and snip this and then I'll put the 45s one more time. If you're liking these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Took one stick just to do three sides of this window. One stick of corner bead. Also, the quick set doesn't stick real good to plastic. So you wanna use the all purpose. It has more glue in it and it's gonna stick better. Let's check this. Go ahead and spray some of this trim tex. 847, it's a spray adhesive for vinyl bead. I'll staple it. I'm just gonna spray it on the bead. You can also get other types of spray adhesive, either at the big box stores or even on Amazon. I'll leave a link to my store on Amazon where I have all the tools and products I use in all of my videos. And I'll leave that link down below in the description. So basically all you want to do is kind of level it out and then you can start to staple once it looks level. You want to push down on all of it before you do that. And that adhesive is super strong. This corner bead ain't going nowhere. Probably want to put three to four in a section of corner bead this size. Just the most crucial thing is to make sure it is level or plumb to the eye. And you just go around and staple it, make sure it doesn't move. Gonna get another piece. I'll go ahead and spray that with the adhesive and turn it to spray again. You want a good coat of it on there. I didn't spray it on the wall because of the window. So I didn't want to get it, that adhesive all over the window. All right, that looks nice. You want the corners to match up up at the top. So when you do the mud work, it all flows and doesn't have a bump or a hump. Then you just want to go ahead and staple it like you did the other one. Put a staple right there where that corner is. Where I cut the 45, you want to put a staple right on that. Go to the other side. And staple. It's a pretty easy process if you know all the steps you need to take to get her done. I guess that's why you guys watch my videos. I appreciate that. All right, the last piece, I'm gonna go ahead and get the spray adhesive on it. And then just push it and kind of go down the piece of corner bead and push on it so that it's got some bite behind it. Looks good. That looks good. You want it to all meet up and be plumb. Then again, staple right there on that 45. So basically I'm putting four staples in, in this corner bead. And between the spray adhesive and staples, this corner bead will be nice and strong. Now I'll go ahead and hit right on that 45 again. 
and all we have to do is the inside just checking to see if that's plumb with the other corner bead got the staple in a couple more staples and we'll be ready for some mud work and one last staple boom and if you want to catch the next video or any of my upcoming videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button now in the center of the screen to keep up with all my videos. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave some of my most popular video links down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching.